guys and welcome back to my channel don't mind my highlight being a little crazy um i just got done putting it on and it will tone down when i spray with setting spray but um i am also filming a couple other reviews so we're in the middle but today we're going to be reviewing i'm so excited this um maybelline tattoo studio brow um Brow gel? Brow... Yeah, brow gel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, waterproof brow gel. That's what it is. So, um, I've already done my brows with um, my e.l.f. Um, Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in shade Neutral Brown. Penciled it in, and then we're going to use this to set the hairs in place. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be a quickie video. Um, I also picked up this wet and wild um highlighter ultimate brow highlighter pencil so it's supposed to be for under here so i'm curious we'll be doing both of these today see how they do anyway but uh before we jump into this video let me say first if you're new to my channel what's up i'm jen thank you for joining me i'm so glad you're here and make sure you uh hit that subscribe button before you leave You'll make me very happy. And um, if you're a returning viewer, what's up? What's good? How you been? Glad you made it back. Um, so yeah, let's jump into this. Like I said, don't don't forget to hit that bell, the subscribe. You know what to do. You know what to do. And I say it every time. I'm sure every YouTuber says it. So I'm not going to hound you. Just, just do what you got to do. All right. So let's hop into this. Um, this is the shade I got for me. I got Deep Brown, which is shade 260. And let's see, the instructions. Oh, so this is what it looks like. It's a tube. Anyway, okay. So the instructions are... Oh. This is what it looks like. This is the bottle, and it came with a little mini spoolie, too, so you can brush it through. There's a spoolie inside here, like a mascara one, and then that's to brush the excess out. All right, so it says, get brows for days. New waterproof brow gel lasts up to two days. Wow. Formula adheres to brows for a no-hassle wear does not transfer and does not smudge and it's waterproof it's about time i found something that doesn't smudge or wipe away i hate that that's the one thing i hate about using my pencil it's it does move anyway okay so step number one pro tip remove excess formula from tip just like um, a mascara wand all right it says Short, smooth strokes starting, <clears throat> I'm sorry, this is so tiny, starting mid-brow, then fill and blend towards the start of the brow. All right, then you fill in the tail and then brush through with the excess. All right, so we're going to give it a go. Here we go. So this is the wand, what it looks like. It's a little tiny guy, as you can see. Let's focus. All right. So I'm going to wipe off some excess here. And this is kind of cool because the brush, if you look, um, the brush on the very, the bristles go to the tip as well. It's hard to show you that, but that's nice. So you can go in with these kind of strokes. So we're just going to very lightly here we go very light strokes Okay, and then I'm going to take the little spoolie that came with it and just brush through and make sure there's no big spots or, you know, big clumped up, clumped up spots. 
then I'm going to wipe that off. And then I'm going to use my finger real quick to just clean up any little spots. Um, all right. And I'm going to grab a Q-tip so we can get up in there. I'm just going to do one of those. Just make sure I get under the brow there and clean it up a little bit. As you see, while it's still wet before I, it's, <laughs> it sits, sets. All right. Alrighty. All right, I'm gonna do the other brow and then we'll try the pencil and see what happens. So far, so good though. So, start in the middle. Definitely want to be careful because it, it can be very messy. Wipe off some excess here. It's just too much. As you see, I'm getting this one everywhere on this side, so beware. All right. There we go. New Q tip. Let's clean that up. Actually, brush through it again to get those big clumps out. And I'm wiping it off on a paper towel as I go to get rid of that excess. I know I'm a mess right now, but that's okay. You can do this. Um, before your foundation if you'd like. Okay. Clean this up. All right, now I'm going to get another Q-tip and clean that up. I know I made a mess. I'm gonna clean this up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I cleaned that up. Um, I cleaned them both up and then I kind of brush through them a little bit, but they're pretty much set. They ain't moving anymore. And, um, yeah, nothing's coming off. So I'm pretty impressed by that. Um, yeah, it's, it, it can be a little messy, but as long as you keep, um, keep tips clean, you know, it gives you time to, um, clean it up. It doesn't set immediately. Um, so you have a little time to play with it and move it around. All right, so let's move on to this brow pencil. They only had one shade, so I'm assuming this is supposed to work for everybody. I don't know. Um, but anyway, let's give it a whirl. I'm going to blend it out a little bit with a brush. I'll just use this brush. It's short and you know, it's kind of nice and compact. This is a Kylie brush. That's all it says. So I'm just going to go right under here and kind of hide any smears or um, places that the makeup may have been removed from uh, cleaning up the brows. It's nice with a pencil like this, you can get right up against that brow. Um, without, you know, getting it all in the brow. All right, so this pencil is um, really nice. It's blending really, really easy. Yeah. Look at how easily that's blending out, like effortlessly.
I'm pretty impressed. I am impressed in Dee Dee. Yeah, I like it. It blends awesome and um, cleans that area right up and it gives you a nice lifted, highlighted look. You could wear this um, obviously under makeup or you could wear this alone on those days you're not wearing a lot of makeup. If you don't want to wear a lot of makeup, you want to just uh, give your eye a little elevation, your eyebrow a little elevation. Make your eyes look nice and popped open, you know. You can wear it any time, alone or with others. So I like it. I'm a, I'm a two thumbs up on this. Yeah, it blended great. You could use your finger or with a brush. It's amazing. So that's it for these two products. I am in the process of filming some other reviews, so I'm going to finish my makeup and keep it moving. But yeah, as far as these two products, two thumbs up. I really enjoyed them. Um, I'm really impressed at how that worked. Um, now, as far as lasting two days, I don't know. I'm, I don't know anybody that would wear their makeup for two days, but, um, yeah, I'm, even if it lasts till tonight, I'm happy. So, um, yeah, I, I, I don't foresee it moving. It's, it's, these are pretty much locked on. You can kind of feel that it's locked on, but it still feels tacky in a way like it's wet. So it doesn't feel like dry and crunchy. It feels moist, like it's moisturizing. If that makes sense. I don't know. Two thumbs up. Love them. Love them. Definitely recommend them. I'm glad I bought them. I, and I foresee I will be using them, um, using both products on a daily. Um, yeah, two thumbs up. Thanks, guys. Don't forget, hit all the bells. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this. And um, hit me up down below. I love chatting with you guys. Until the next one, smoochies. Bye.